this, uh, the Snyder, Gene Snyder and Bill Town Row. This is the Fern Creek area. You can see the storm cloud. It's hard for me to see where I'm at. I don't see anything clearly shown up on the, uh, the screen there very well. But um, obviously that's where the storm was moving through at that time on the Snyder and uh, Milltown Row. But I uh, appreciate that. That's from John Turner. Thanks, John, for uh, sending that in. We appreciate that from the, uh, the fire department in that area. So I know I'm showing a lot of pictures of the storm as it moves through just because it was pretty isolated and a lot of folks have been out and about here this afternoon. But, wow, it, uh, it touched down fast. And we saw the rotation showing up on the radar, but it was very weak. But obviously, it doesn't take much in the situation here to cause a brief touchdown that took place. Okay, and uh, Ted, uh, Ted Werblin's on the phone from WHAS. He's uh, the news director there at WHAS Radio. Uh, Ted, what have you been hearing so far as far as reports coming into your newsroom? Well, actually, Brian, I am at Brook Chase Courts in this subdivision here in the Fern Creek area where uh, it's apparent uh, to me anyway that there's been a tornado touchdown. I'm looking at a house. It's been shifted about halfway off of its foundation. Uh, several other homes with siding ripped off of them. Uh, we're told that uh, the family that lived in this particular house that I'm looking at is out of town. They're in Colorado, uh, and it's a good thing because the house is still standing, but it looks like it's just been pushed about halfway off of its foundation. Wow. And there's insulation scattered throughout the area across the street. Uh, uh, the house across the street has some windows knocked out. Uh, the damage is going to be very, very spotty and very limited, but uh, where there is some, it, there's quite a bit. Ted, did anybody in that neighborhood say they actually saw something touch down? Have you heard anything like that? I have not spoken to anyone who actually saw it touch down. Uh, the, most of the residents here, obviously, uh, are trying to, trying to figure out exactly what's happened as well because it came and went so quickly. But uh, just from looking at the damage, anyway, I'm going to try to send you a picture here in a few minutes. But uh, it's pretty obvious that it just touched down very, very briefly in just one very isolated spot, one home, and some others with some uh, minor damage, siding damage windows, but uh, this one house just uh, moved off of its foundation. Wow. Now, what kind of house is this, by the way? Is this a brick home, or is it a siding home, or what type of house? Would it's, it's a sided house. It's not a brick home. Uh, these homes here are all uh, aluminum siding. Uh, some of them has uh, have some facades, uh, front brick facades. I can't tell. I'm on the back side of this house. I'm not sure whether it had a brick facade on it, but uh, they're mostly uh, aluminum siding, wood frame siding. There's a sofa in the middle of the street that apparently is out of this house. Wow. Uh, that's uh, definitely a price. Obviously, it sounds like a touchdown anyway, describing the damage you're telling me here. Uh, any injuries from anybody in that neighborhood, in that court area? As far, as far as I know, I'm talking to a couple of residents. Uh, they don't know of anybody that's hurt, uh, apparently, either in this home or one where some window was thrown out. Uh, a, a family pet was injured, and they're bringing the Humane Society out. But no human injuries that we're aware of, but maybe uh, some family pets have been injured. Okay, wow. Okay. Another home here across the street that I'm looking at, a piece of, looks like the home fairly unscathed, some windows blown out, and then on the side of the home, a piece of, piece of plywood from somewhere uh, just uh, into the side of the house. Wow, okay. Uh, Ted, uh, Ted Werbman, thank you so much. I appreciate that. And, and get those pictures to us when you get a chance. I know you're busy out in the field. We appreciate that. Uh, Ted is uh, the news director there, of our partner, radio partner, 84 WHES Radio, who's out there. And it was Brook Chase Road, I believe, uh, is where he's located at, which is in the uh, Fern Creek, Village Church Road area there in southern Jefferson County, uh, which is where we've had the most common reports of uh, damage in that area. As he mentioned, no reports of injuries is aware of. Apparently, there's been some injuries to perhaps some, uh, some family pets there. Uh, but there is uh, a house that apparently has been shifted. Uh, a little bit, and there is a couch sofa in the middle of the street. So uh, we're, we've got a crew heading there right now, and we'll, uh, since we know information, we'll uh, give you uh, the latest word on that. But the good news is no injuries. Do want to pass along. Jefferson County uh, schools have uh, been cleared now to go ahead and get those students home. So they are now uh, boarding the buses, and they are heading out. Just keep in mind, because of this, this delay, the elementary students are going to see that much of a delay, probably about a 15 to 20-minute delay. Uh, from what they normally would have for this Friday afternoon. So parents, be patient with uh, school bus drivers today and school officials as they try to get everybody organized. Uh, Oldham County is doing the same thing, holding students on the buses and in schools there until the all clear is given, although Oldham County is looking uh, better here in the next, uh, say, 15, 20 minutes. It's Shelby County, though, where the same situation, they're holding students there, still got the credit warning effect until the, uh, the top of the hour coming up at uh, 3.